Je sais pas, à quel What I'd like to do here, uh, before the clouds to the north close in, <laughs> is to introduce you to this uh, probably trite but true characterization, these intrepid sailors. It's amazing. Let's welcome the crew of the Golden Rule. I remember. <laughs> Welcome to you. Helen. Gary. Helen. Where's Gary? Gary. Debbie. Captain Debbie. Bill. And Stephen. begin with a land acknowledgement. 
we acknowledge that we are standing on unceded and stolen land from the Massachusetts people who greeted the wave of immigrants with hospitality and generosity, which were then rewarded with some of the most savage human interactions, the doctrine of discovery, manifest destiny, and outright war. Dear friends, the warmest of greetings to the Golden Rule and her crew. What joy is ours, and may we extend the field and the sea of blessings which appear before us. The first is the arrival of this noble ship and her noble history, and amid all the blessings the ship delivers, may we invoke her name and always do unto others as we would have them do unto us. May we bless each other with a peace of our own making. May we find a stand to take and then stand there. May we acknowledge and publicize the existential threats of nuclear weapons and climate destruction. May we find something larger than ourselves to protect. May we remain joyful in spite of all the facts. May we subscribe to Gandhi's three points of Satyagraha, the pursuit of truth, loving means, and some modest degree of self-sacrifice. May we understand love as a set of actions, not just a set of emotions. May we always be building the beloved community. May we live in challenging times and may we rise to meet them. May we understand that the victories and the struggle, and that those who would be free must themselves strike the first blow. <laughs>
Quakers have had a somewhat better record 
in the subjugation of indigenous people, we did have a hand in administering Indian boarding schools, much to our discredit. I was invited to speak as a Quaker today, someplace on the trajectory of this most magnificent sailboat, the Golden Rule. Quakers have historically been called the peculiar people and described as happy, content, and always in trouble. Some of us have come from our monthly meeting for worship this very morning at a Raytheon facility where for the last 15 years we have been convening a spiritual Quaker meeting at a local war profiteering merchant of death. Many of us know how this story begins with a 1958 attempt by four Quakers to sail to the Marshall Islands in a 39-foot wooden sailboat without modern navigational aids to thwart atmospheric nuclear testing. They were quickly apprehended and served jail time. More trouble, good trouble as John Lewis would say, continued a decade later when another Quaker-owned and crewed sailboat, the Phoenix, sailed through naval blockades to deliver medical supplies to both North and South Vietnam during the American War there. Some 4,000 years ago, someone with intense personal and social experience with slavery and living in bondage and the movement toward freedom made an astute observation and then offered a bit of damn good advice. Moses said that we have set before us life and death, blessings and curses, and suggested that we choose life so that we and our children may live and prosper. Duh. This seems to be a little self-evident, doesn't it? A no-brainer. Yet why is it so hard? I don't know. We gather in the midst of a breathtaking example of this choice in this park named for a man who wrote in his journal of the natives who met him with open arms and presents. Columbus described their lives lived in peace and said that they did not know war or weapons. The implication was clear to his civilized mind. He said with just 50 of his soldiers, he could subjugate them all and bend them to his rule. Two, three, four. Pop, there goes Boston. Bang, there goes LA. If we don't stop building armaments, someday we're gonna pay. Oops, we just lost Detroit. New York, it is no more. If that button never does get pushed, death from shore to shore. 5,000 head warheads. The crowd is up today, waiting for the chance to blow the Russians all away. But the Russians got them too, the no dummies don't you see? Only difference there's a point it, right you and me. And it's pop, there goes Boston, bang, there goes LA. If we don't stop building armaments, someday we're gonna pay. Oops, we just lost Detroit, New York, it is no more. If that button never does get pushed, it's death from shore to shore. A 200,000 died with the dropping of Fat Boy. All the new they had a brand new. Let's try it again. 200,000 died with the dropping of Fat Boy. All the generals smiled, they had a brand new toy. But on that fateful day, Back in 1945, Mother Earth was crying, need I tell you why? And it's pop, there goes Boston, bang, there goes LA. If we don't stop building armaments, someday we're gonna pay. Oops, we just lost Detroit, New York, it is no more. If that button never does get pushed, it's death from shore to shore. A building MX, Mars and Mers, this seems to be the trend. Which country will be first to experience the end? Who's ever blown up first while the other's right behind? Just to play this game, we must be out of our minds. And it pop, there goes Boston, bang, there goes LA. If we don't stop building armaments, someday we're gonna pay. Oops, we just lost Detroit, New York, it is no more. If that button never does get pushed, it's death from shore to shore. 
why they want their B-1 bombers to try and send the crews. They got a nuke-proof bunker. What the hell they got to lose? For every time a bomb that's built, they're determining our fate. These weapons must be taken away. Oh, is he at the pearly gates? And it's pop, there goes Boston. Bang, there goes LA. If we don't stop building armaments, someday we're gonna pay. Whoops, we just lost Detroit, New York, it is no more. Now that button never does get pushed, it's death from shore to shore. I don't want our children dying from a nuclear blast. No, the radiation to follow, which lasts and lasts and lasts. This world, it must be free from the threat of nuclear war. The bomb must be dismantled and banned.